What's up everyone? It's your girl Faye. I'm back again kama kawaida to Minas Always. Uh, so I'm here with uh, another song by Tom Jones. Uh, this is from, uh, this is Tom Jones TV show from uh, 1969. And uh, he's performing the song Without Love. So join me. Uh, let's explore the song and uh, hear what uh, Without Love is all about. And uh, hopefully enjoy the music. Uh, so I'll be giving my comments as well as interpretations at the end. So stick around for that. And uh, so without further ado, welcome aboard. Eh? Welcome home. <laughs> to live for today and to love for tomorrow is the wisdom of a fool. Hmm? Wait, to live for today? I'm sorry. <laughs> to live for today and to love for tomorrow, love for tomorrow. is the wisdom of a fool. Ah. Because tomorrow is promised to no one. You see, love is that wonderful thing that the whole wide world needs plenty of. Hey, yes, and if you sir. think for one minute that you can live without it, then you're only fooling yourself. Listen, please. Tell them. <laughs> I'd like to tell you something mm -hmm. that happened to me just the other day. I awakened this morning. I was filled with despair. All my dreams turned to ashes. Now they're gone. As I look at my life, it was barren and so bare. Without love, I had nothing, yeah. nothing at all. And uh, as a hopeless romantic, I definitely agree with the message. Without love, I had nothing. So he says that uh, he had conquered it all. But, uh, without love, he's got nothing. So I love it so far. And uh, I love how he's singing from uh, the heart. And uh, the way the song has started, like uh, storytelling. -ish. I love Soriza, you know that. So so far, I'm loving it a little bit back. I had to say something uh, about without love. I have nothing at all. Eh? Uh, without love, I have nothing, nothing at all. Mm -hmm. I once wow. had a sweetheart who loved only me. There was nothing that she would not give. No, no, I was blind to her goodness And I just could not see That a heart without love cannot live
know without love I had nothing at all. I don't want to sing. I'm tempted to sing, but I know I'll spoil the song. So let me keep that for myself, huh? for the showers. Huh? So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, it's a very beautiful love song and a very powerful song for that. Uh, so I feel like uh, this song can be interpreted in two ways. Uh, the first one can be romantic love. Uh, I'm a sucker for love. <laughs> So the first one being romantic love. So uh, like uh, I feel like listening to this song reminds us that uh, don't focus so much on uh, like uh, accumulating wealth or uh, material stuff and forget to live life or rather forget to uh, like uh, be open to love uh, basically. Uh, so when love comes your way, don't uh, like uh, don't uh, put so much energy on uh, something else and forget because uh, in this case, the song mentions that uh, he had a partner, but uh, it seems like uh, it ended. So, of course, uh, they mentioned that this partner was uh, willing to do anything and uh, like was the best, basically, the way uh, he's described the partner. So, shows that uh, maybe he was too occupied to be present in the relationship, hence it ended. Uh, so, yeah, I would say it's... Pain, for me, it's giving me that image of uh, like balancing life and uh, knowing that uh, uh, love is a special thing and uh, when you find it, you hold it dear. Uh, then the second one is, uh, that is romantic. Then the second one is uh, even uh, like a uh, friendship, family, the extended family and all that, like uh, being present or rather nurturing relationships that are uh, solid because uh, that's also love. So without these people, then uh, you are nothing. You might have all the wealth, but uh, uh, or rather you might have uh, conquered the world, uh, but uh, without having uh, connections, either romantically or uh, socially, then uh, you have nothing. So it's a good song. Huh? It's a good song for sure. So let me know what you think of this and how it made you feel. Uh, so yeah, I still want to listen to more of uh, Tom, uh, Tom Jones. So if you're a fan, keep suggesting uh, more songs by him uh, and I'll get to them. And I love how like uh, when he sings, uh, like this particular performance, you can tell it's coming from the heart and he has a way of uh, uh, writing songs. I don't know whether it's him who writes, but uh, I love the creativity in it. Like uh, this was a story, he was telling a story, his story. And uh, me, I love stories, you know that by now. So songs that uh, tell stories they have a special place in my heart uh, so and uh, of course love songs so yeah i love this and uh yeah that's it for today so thank you for watching see you guys in the comment section and uh, in the next one uh so the biggest takeaway here is uh to balance between uh conquering the world we all want to conquer the world but uh, also uh remember to build solid connections with the uh, people and uh, love, basically. The connections are love, yeah. So remember also to have a place for love in your heart. So yeah, that's it. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Melissa. So Melissa, thank you so much for sharing this. And uh, in case you're new here, Karibu, which is Swahili for welcome, and uh, do feel right at home. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also consider to turn the notification bell on so that uh, you get notified every other time that uh, I upload a video, which is every other day. And uh, if you'd love to support this channel, kindly check the description below where you'll find the details to my PayPal as well as our Patreon community. And you can also have guaranteed requests through other platforms as well. So once again, thank you for watching and uh, something just came to mind. <laughs> So I'm thinking, I'm listening to this song and uh, we are in the month of uh, February. Uh, so this is the Valentine's month. Uh, so this song, it's deep, right? <laughs> so let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm out for now. So peace out and uh, bye.